So what are we gonna be talking about today is, do you really trust God? <laughs> What's happening, people? Welcome back to JTNS. Just talk, nothing serious. You know, you got tone in the building. Also in the building, we got. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Henry Allen Hart and the, the third. Don't, don't forget, forget the three. You already know, man. We back here, man. Hey, what we got for the day, bro? <laughs> what we got for the day? What we got for the day? So, so what are we gonna be talking about today? Is do you really trust God? <laughs> like, do you really like, like, like God gave you? Um, a vision, right, right, and yeah. but and he said that this is gonna happen for you. Let's go. Like yeah. clearly, right. You heard it, and you put your you wrote your goals down, you wrote your dreams down, you you wrote it down, you did everything you're supposed to do, right. But it's the fourth quarter, and you got the ball in your hand. <laughs> you ready to shoot? Because <laughs> you try. Because it's it's one of those th- like you just don't see it happening any other way. Right, right, right. And so it comes to the point of like, man, did God really say that this was going to happen for me this year? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I think for me, and just like coming from my perspective, my opinion is that that question in itself is the foundation of my faith. Mm. You know, like every time I get ready to uh, do something, that question is like God constantly remind me of that question. Do you really trust me? Do you really trust me? And the 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 thing is, is that God is an all knowing God, so he he's no he knows what go uh, goes on in yourself. Mm-hmm. So when he asks me, then and there, I have to make a decision to either say yes or no. If I say yes, I gotta act on it. If mm-hmm. I say no, then I'm being a chump, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I can't be no chump, man. So so for me, that question. It's pretty much the anchor of my faith, man. It's, it's do or die yeah. when it comes to that. Yeah, and and like what what it reminds me of. I don't know. I don't know when the Super Bowl was when the Falcons played in the Super Bowl and the Patriots, right? So mm. the score was twenty eight three at one point. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And this it hurts me to talk about this, but it's a good, <laughs> it's a good example, right? Of right. like uh-huh. of like you know, man, you guys won't believe it. Tom Brady made an incredible comeback. Right. Right. And you're, let's say you're a New England Patriots fan. Man, he made an incredible comeback. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, you won't, like, and what happens is, what happens is you listen to the, to the, to the radio, mm-hmm. right? Or you, you, maybe you DVR'd it or whatever, right? Right. And you're watching it, like, knowing that, it's already done. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already done. Yeah. But you I like dang, like, dang, Tom Brady didn't score. Dang, Falcons seven oh, okay. Dang, fourteen zero. Okay, they got a field goal, okay. Dang, twenty one th- like, is this are they sure that that, <laughs> that New England gonna win this game? Like right, right, right. And right. you get to the was it I think it was I think it was almost the fourth quarter. Yeah. And it was twenty eight three in the fourth quarter. Makes sense. And it's like at that point, what are you doing? Like, and, and it's just related back to your life, right? It's right. the fourth quarter. What are you doing? Are you getting excited? Because you know God is about to show up and show out in your life. Right. Or are you nervous and not acting as if it was already done? Because at the end of the day, it's going to happen. The Patriots came back and won the game. Right. But, and even though it's already done, you still have that doubt, right? So do yeah. you really trust that God is going to do what he said he's going to do? Every second, that's the ongoing, ongoing question. And that question determines my answer. My answer determines the outcome. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If it's fourth quarter, I'm going to tell you this. Most of the time, what gets in my way is that when God gives me a vision or an inspired goal or um, an idea, I get in the way. Mm. Because if I see, if, if I can't figure out how it's going to happen, mm-hmm. then I scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> Not real talk. But I had to learn that, you know, yo, you're getting in your way of walking in the supernatural, you know. And I, I truly believe that, like, at some point, like, everybody's going to get nervous. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, when God is calling you out, you're, it's a constant walk on water. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the, the natural mind is unfamiliar with that. 
Because the natural mind tells you, nobody walk on water. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You ain't no boat. You ain't <laughs> right. no duck. You know what I mean? You're going to sink, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's the idea of battling uh, battling that. But, like, the Lord is always there asking me, do you trust me? Yeah. So every step I got to say, yes, make a step. Do you trust me? Yes, make another step. <laughs> do you trust Because, man, I'm telling you, like, it's 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 exciting. But it's a nervous wreck. Yeah, because you you want to, and that leads me to the, to the lyric of the day, mm-hmm. because you want to take control of the situation. You do. Because, like, it's just, I don't know if it's just a natural thing. I don't know if it's a man thing. I don't know, but you want to, like, it's natural, yeah. like, you just, you just, you got to do it. And and, um, and the quote comes from, or the lyric of the day comes from Yo Gotti. Mm-hmm. And he says, you got to know when to be the big homie and when to be a player on the team. Ooh. And... In those situations, man, right. like you ain't the big homie. Nah. Like God is, right? Yeah. God's in control. Right. Right. So you have to understand that um that you just you just here for the ride. That's it. And and he about to show out, show up and show out, and you just gotta be there just to just to follow the lead. Right. Run the play. That's just it. run the play. You know what? I believe too, like we try to take control of the situation ultimately because we don't trust God. Mm-hmm. I think we had this conversation this morning. <laughs> so I picked him and my sister-in-law up, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yo, I'm just curious because I'm still learning you. Like, why did you decide to pick us up? I said trust issues, man. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I'd rather, you know, if I'm going to let me down, I, I, if anybody's going to let me down, it's going to be me. You know, if I, you know, if I say seven, then I know you guys going to get in the car. It's seven <laughs> versus y'all coming to drive over. So that's just some... um some trust is some control things. And sometimes we take that approach with God, you know, but you got to understand, like in that relationship with God, mm-hmm. there ain't really no ultimatum. Nope. It's either you trust me or you don't. Yep. You know what I mean? That's either it. you're in control or you let me take the will. Right. You feel me? Ain't no in between. Ain't no in between. So I think, you know, that's one of my struggles, just trying to be in control. Mm-hmm. But then that question comes, do you trust me? All right, man. Yes. <laughs> I guess. Yes. Which which brings me um, to the scripture today. Um, I want to say it's what scripture? Oh, Proverbs uh, chapter three, verse five and six. It says, "Trust in the law, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways, and He will direct your path." Mm. And the thing is that when you're walking on water it is really hard to lean on your own understanding mm-hmm. because it is a supernatural process. Mm-hmm. What we're doing is supernatural. The ideas that God has given us, supernatural. Be more to do more, supernatural. Mm-hmm. So every day is a walk on water, which means that every day I cannot lean on my own understanding, mm-hmm. which means every day I have to acknowledge Him yep. because we're walking in the supernatural. So. Don't lean on your own understand, own understanding, man. Just trust in trust in God. You ain't the big homie, man. <laughs> nope. You ain't the big homie. Nope. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. So I got. It. Me too. But we got a podcast coming. Yeah. You already know, man. Hey, April 4, 2023, podcast oh, oh, coming. Two, three. You already know. Um, but check out the documentary that's coming, um, March the 24th, 2023. Yep. And you guys are going to get to know who we are, why we decided to do what we do. Um, you get to meet our family, too, which is real dope, man. I, mm-hmm. I learned some interesting uh, things about you and like your person. Yeah, and your dynamics, man. I'm just so. I'm just like it's crazy because we kind of like so we sample in a lot of areas so don't miss it uh like subscribe hit the bell hit the bell hit the bell man let's get this information out of here and we out yeah all right peace peace